Yeah, so uh, why we need to use the melodic uh, and what for? So this, is, uh, this seems that it's the simplest way to, to start to use a multi-cloud approach and it's very unique and unify also. Uh, this is a very easy way to deploy uh, containers. This is serverless, so this is also important for the application because they are very light. And this is also for the, um, we can manage the, our big data and we are not vendor locking at all. We can use different cloud providers. Uh, we have also here polymorphic uh, modeling. I will tell a little bit more later about that. And uh, this is fully automatic deployment to these different cloud providers. It's maybe not so easy, as you can see on this slide, but this is really f automatic. We, people don't know, want to uh, need a lot of effort to that. And this is also optimization of our, of our resources uh, in the cloud, and that's also doing automatically. So uh, that is the issue what I said in the beginning. Uh, when we want to start with the uh, multi-cloud application first, in, our, in melodic application, we need to start from the description of our application in the dedicated language, which calls Camel. It's a very nice name, but it's a language in cloud, cloud agnostic language, similar to Tasca. And uh, we can model in it uh, our components uh, related to the, our infrastructure, infrastructure requirements and uh, the user requirements and constraints. And this is very important because this is also for the utility of the application. And uh, we can describe this application and uh, for the cloud uh, deployment later on. So what is the best deployment? What Melodic offers? Our smart application. Uh, first, uh, it's gathering uh, collection, um, gathering metric all the time uh, on the running application, not just after the application is uh, undeployed. Uh, also, it's calculate flexible utility for the particular application, and uh, you can f focus on the business value. Sometimes we have to trade between uh, applica uh, between our technical side, for the technical point of view, like GPU, or uh, trading between security or performance, or uh, or cost or performance. And here, application is doing uh, it uh, behalf of us. So uh, under their very complicated mathematical and. Uh, algorithms uh, solvers. So this trade-off is doing during automatically here. Uh, how it works? This is uh, overall our architecture of the melodic. So first we describe, uh, describe application and setting the parameter, parameters of our utilities, uh, what we need to have been deployed. And then the calculation is started. Uh, and the solver choose the best deploy, the, the best deployment option for our application, and the best cloud providers on uh, the, for the application, and just deploy to the cloud. And still, in during this deployment, the metrics are collected. Uh, and there is question: Is the needed another calculation, recalculation of the, this uh, solution, or we stay with the same? A solution for the, our application, for the same cloud provider. So here is a more complicated or maybe more detailed, uh, the same process in under BPM process with the all components of the application. And, uh, but they are mostly the same what was on the previous slide, but in the details, we, what the components are inside the melodic and war, how it works uh, together under this BPM process. So this is the basic option, uh, basic, let's say, uh, here, okay, the basic uh, version of the application which we provide in the first, our project, and we develop it and it works, and they have even early adopters, which I said a little bit later. But also, we still continuously developing a new solution because we are realized during using of the melo first version of Melodic that this is not enough, that we need more, uh, complicate or more complex, let's say, uh, object goals in the, for our application. And that is first of them. Uh, this is polymorphic architecture. When we can uh, 
uh, we can uh, focus more on the maximize of our utility uh, and consider other aspects than we considered before, not only the uh, time and uh, time and let's say uh, localization of the, our uh, resources or cloud providers, but other things like uh, virtual machines or containers. And uh, second. Uh, additional feature which we are provide in the Morphemic project and develop our application is the forecasting for the, our solution. So previously Melodic was only uh, reactive, so just gathering the metrics and find the new solution. And now he is uh, reactive and the second word. I forgot. And now he predicts new, uh, new options for the application, so he predicts, oh, cool. He predicts what we, what, what we need for the, for the better option to calculate for, for the application. So, yeah, predict the resources. So this is two, two options. And now to not talking too much because I already stolen your time. Uh, I would like to show the use case, or not even use case, but the real, uh, and also related to the financial mark, financial topics uh, platform, which are used on the melodic uh, solution. So this is AI Investments. This is startup from Poland, uh, which is a, uh, which is a built, this built a, a uh, complete investment platform based on very uh, innovative advanced AI methods. So they invest, build their own portfolio to, uh, to by, by training the models and uh, as, as you said, as you showing on this presentation in the morning using the answer from the uh, machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, predictions and the business goal is to pre train the pre 50 predictions models in one hour uh, but with the minimal number of the resources so the analyst uh, sitting uh, in our office started this training but on the premises uh, resources and uh, it's secure that it needs uh, three hours for that and this is too too much of course for us because it's a long time much money much more money so uh, Melodic started to add it additional resources uh, in the different cloud providers, different what we description, described before in the Camel model. And what happened? M mission accomplished. So they can finish in one hour. Due to this, uh, automatically added and uh, uh, removed resources to the application. So. Uh, this is also a very good example when we have a peak before the Christmas and the e-commerce shops need to, you know, very quickly change the, uh, the resources. So, and Melodic just automatically added them and removed them from the application. Okay, so, yeah. So what does it mean for the, for the application? Just, that means that we just saves the cost. So during the maybe uh, one month, we cannot see that. But as we use Melodic since five years, after three years, we save really 60% of the costs uh, during this, due to this uh, uh, optimizing. And this is also another example of how it works because uh, AI investments platform is used by Omphalos Fund. Uh, this is a Luxembourg hedge fund uh, uh, solutions, and you can see that the, during this uh, stable uh, architecture of the using the cloud and the training these models and uh, uh, the increase and this very very uh, stable and uh, going go up and so we still earn the money, and it's really uh, supported by also by the multi-cloud solution. So I was trying to very, very quickly <laughs> for this first, first, uh, first part. So the second part, I still have some time, will be demo. I hope that will be work. Uh, here. Okay. This is a special uh, 
XMI uh, created in Camel language uh, to deploy the application using the OpenStack resources. Uh, as you can see, uh, we created a special image on the OpenStack and included it in the uh, Camel uh, of, of the application. Uh, here as well, you can see the uh, requirements of the um, virtual machine that uh, have to be uh, present on the OpenStack resources to deploy the application. Now let's move to the deployment. Uh, now we're gonna upload the file. When the file is uploaded, let's move to the another step. Here we need to select the default network, which is the configuration for the OpenStack uh, resources to be used. And let's move on to the next step. Here we need to start the deployment of the application. The deployment started successfully. Let's uh, go through the all of the steps here. Our two-component app on uh, OpenStack resources is already deployed. We can check information about it in your application tab. Here you have information like, for example, public IP of the VM created within the uh, two-component app application and the provider as well. Uh, in this case, the provider, like we planned, is OpenStack. Now let's try to deploy the genome application on AWS resources. This is the XMI file created for the genome application. It is similar to the uh, XMI uh, for the OpenStack. The difference uh, here is that uh, we have specified image uh, that is available on AWS resources. Let's go to the deployment. Now upload the file. Here we have to provide the credentials that are required for the part of the genome application to be deployed on AWS resources. Uh, after that, let's move to the next step. We need to select the uh, seven bulls production images as well as the security group for the AWS resources. Let's start the deployment. The application starts the deployment successfully. Let's wait until the all steps are done. Now when our genome application uh, is already deployed, we can check 
the information about it in your application tab. As you can see, we have several components here. Uh, this application contains master uh, instance and worker instances. Uh, let's uh, check to the monitoring application, which is uh, Grafana dashboard. We have uh, prepared uh, dashboard installed already with uh, uh, Melodic right now, so let's just select the dashboard for the Genome application. Uh, as you can see, we have some <coughs> uh, information based on the uh, metrics and uh, Based on that, uh, we have a reconfiguration available which will start uh, new workers for the genome application. After some time on the dashboard for the genome application, we can see some predictions. They are based on the forecasters and they are uh, specified for some uh, metrics. Reconfiguration in Morphemic can be based on the real data and the predicted data. Now, I would like to present you deployment of two-component app version, which is specially created for multiple buy-on feature. Multiple buy-on feature allows us to use the nodes uh, prepared outside of Morphemic uh, when we want to deploy application inside of the Morphemic. Uh, to do this, we need to specify the nodes and also include the nodes in the uh, camel definition of our application. In this case we have two nodes, node 1 and node 2. So let's go to the deployment. We'll upload the file. And when the file is uploaded, we'll move to another step. We'll check the Seven Bulls production images and we will add our notes. We also have uh, to check the automate checkbox. This functionality allows us to, allows Morphemic to install the proactive client on the notes automatically. We'll add note one. And after adding node 1, we will add node 2. Both nodes are added. Let's move to deployment of our application. Okay, our two component app is deployed uh, with the multiple buy-on feature. Let's uh, take uh, IP of uh, one of our nodes and check if the application is available there. This is the list of all users currently within the application. Uh, so let's uh, add something and check if it appears in the database. To do this, we will use Postman. Uh, I have already created the post uh, and I will just change the IP to IP of 
uh, our uh, node. We received the response that uh, request is saved. Let's uh, go back to the browser and refresh uh, the IP of the node. As you can see, we added the uh, entry to the database using the uh, IP of the application, which is the uh, result that we wanted to have uh, on the two component app. Uh, thank you. That will be all of the presentation for today. Yes, so uh, that was a quick presentation of my colleague Kuba, who is a tester in the, of this application, but uh, I'm not sure that you are catch everything, but it's really uh, easy to manage uh, after the uh, describe, describe application by camel language and have the camel model dedicated for the application. It's just, you know, putting the right place in the application and deploying to the cloud. And also, uh, as you can see on this uh, few steps, uh, it's really uh, easy. And what is the most important, and what are, stop, no, 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 this slide here. What is the more, most important, uh, more than all these benefits you can see on the slide, that uh, this is really, uh, first of all, this is open source, so everyone even uh, can to provide their own code uh, because this is uh, available uh, uh, on the GitLab, on the OW2, an uh, European uh, open source community. Uh, what more, this is also uh, avoiding us from the multi-cloud uh, for the uh, vendor lock-in and this is also very very nice benefits of the application and the most important as I was trying to show on these blue slides we really earn money and save the costs and uh, developing our application uh, our business application on this uh, open source solution which we developed in the European project so uh, I hope that you will join uh, a little bit. Uh, sorry for the for these actions with this uh, uh, on premise <laughs> resources. They are, never works uh, correctly. Uh, you can uh, download Melodic. It's on our website. Uh, this is under uh, uh, okay. So and stay with us also on our social media. There is lots of information. We are trying to keep this project very actively. Uh, communicate to the world as you can see even now here so thank you very much uh, for your attention maybe some questions thank you I, I know that I am ahead of time but yes I, I send this uh, presentation also to the organizers so this should be of, out of offline online also so thank you very much and thanks for your help